Love you. Hey, sisters, come on in. Bring your Kool Aid, your cocktail, your water. Let's eat today. This, we got a good meal today. Let's say prayers. Ooh, yeah, come on in here. Father God, I just want to say thank you for blessing seen and unseen. Thank you for favor and mercies new every day, forgiveness in the same. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let us pray for Ukraine, Russia, and all the people that's going through their trials, Lord. Have mercy upon them all, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen and amen. Y'all, today, I'm starting that timer, y'all. We got some oven-baked chicken. Look how good they look. We got some fresh black-eyed peas with ham hocks. And we have some steamed cabbage with sausage. Without ado, I got Frank's Red Hot. You can put that shit on anything. Really, it's good, y'all. I already told y'all how, oh, I don't like that crust in there. I told y'all how uh, I got it, looking at lips with, with them pig feet and pig tails, mm -hmm, them collard greens. Before I put this on here, y'all, let me taste my food first. Who does that? I do. But let me give y'all a first bite with this cabbage, honey. Yum, yum, give me some, ooh. I thought it was gonna fall, but it didn't. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm That sauce is good in there. Just a little. Oh, that cabbage is good. Mm. 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 Yeah, that faints. It's good. On this cabbage green. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I've had so many good days off. Yeah. I did me. Me. You got to take care of you first. Mm-hmm. But today, I'm taking these beans. I know they're going to fall. But here, you got to have some. They piping hot too, y'all. Yum, yum. Give me some. Today, we was at Mother's because, you know, it's her 79th birthday. She had some um, barbecue ribs and sausage, um, potato salad, green beans with, with a ham in it, uh, dirty rice. And then my ex sister in law made her a uh, German chocolate cake. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But we need some up here too. Mm, them beans good. They so soft. I really did let them soak for 24 hours, not just overnight, y'all. For 24 hours, these black beans soaked. And if I tell you, they so soft. Mm. How are y'all doing? What are y'all eating today? What did y'all cook? Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. That's hot. Mmm. Boy, them beans are good, y'all. I should have had some uh, cornbread. And I was thinking about rice. I was like, I, I, I want to put my black eyed peas on a bed of buttered rice. And then I'm like, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Mmm, mmm, it's hot. Whew. Y'all, as y'all see, I'm not uh, recording like I used to. I think um, as I'm thinking about what I want to do new, I'll put maybe one or two videos out a week. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. Oh, look, that chicken is just tender, y'all. Mm. Oh, my God. That's good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. One good gristle. Mm -mm. I don't think it was a. That chicken is seasoned just fine. Mm -hmm. I was in the store yesterday and uh, I was looking at them pig feet, y'all. But the ham hocks. Well, I know everything is getting expensive. I got a, a pack of ham hocks. It had two in there. Six dollars. The ones that had three, eight, nine, and ten dollars. Y'all know ham hocks wasn't that expensive. Child, honey. Mmm. Oh, that's good. And it's hot. Y'all, we did not toast. I was ready to eat. I'm hungry. Salute, honey. Sip, sip this good water. It's good for you. Oh, I'm so satisfied. Let's eat some of that ham out of there. Mmm. Do y'all like uh, smoked ham hocks or, or fresh ham hocks? I like I like it fresh. Yeah, we haven't had no uh, turkey necks. All these days off, I did not go to the meat market either. On the south side. Well, it's so much around here, honey. Uh, I was just exploring my area, going out every day. I did some shopping too, y'all. I don't know what that is. I hear somebody alarm going out. Um, I bought some new things for the house. One is coming on the 9th. I uh, put some things on top of my cabinet. And one of them, it's, it's all of it is it's kind of like blingy. That's what I wanted. Man, I found a new rug. It is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. For the living room. Uh, the one I have now, I've been having it like seven years. And nothing is wrong with it, but y'all remember? Y'all, I don't know what all that beeping is, but uh, uh, when I was dating uh, Abasi, while we was courting each other, I don't know what that beep. Y'all hear the beeping? It's annoying me. Uh, me and uh, Abasi, Abasi was courting. He had came over. We were doing some hookah, and um, we had laid down on the sofa, dry rubbing. And his head hit the table, his head, his leg hit the table, and we didn't know that that hook of coal fell and it put a darn hole in my rug. That's why I'm getting another one. There's so much about an hour. It is. 
I think it's only three of us on this floor. Right now. Y'all, these black eyed peas and these cabbage greens so good. I'm not even eating that chicken, huh? Well, I have one more day off, and that's tomorrow. But I have plans tomorrow to go and uh, get my car inspected and get my tags while I'm off. I don't think I need to buy anything more for the house, y'all. Mm-hmm. I was looking at cooking with your girl Judy Carwell. She made some uh, some rice pilaf. I've never had kale, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Uh, that rice pilaf, y'all know I love me some rice, so uh, I'm definitely gonna do that rice pilaf. Mm hmm. I've never made it before, so I'm definitely gonna do it. Definitely. With rice pilaf, I want to do it with some baked fish or something, you know? I need to get my butt across that bridge and get my, my crabs. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm. Y'all, I wasn't supposed to have this chicken today. It was supposed to be a pork roast. I, I had bought a pork roast like two weeks ago from Kroger. And, um, I thought it out, and I was about to, um, stuff it with my garlic and stuff last night, right? Honey, I cut that plastic bag off that roast, and if I tell y'all, it was stinking. Yeah, I was so disappointed. I wanted that roast. Well, I, I put it in a bag and took it right outside this house and dumped it. <laughs> I sure did. Mm -mm. I'm thinking, you know, because all the convoys that bring out food, food is sitting longer than it's supposed to. Is this what we're going to have to be going through when we go and buy food that is old already? And spoiled already? That roast cost me $15. Mmm. This chicken is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. I still don't know if I like my lighting. Maybe because I don't have a light on, on top of me right here. Oh, I think that's what that was. Mm-hmm. But I ain't gonna cut I ain't gonna get up and cut it on. Yeah, I'm getting full. These black eyed peas is filling me up. They are so good though with all this celery and onion and garlic and bell pepper. Mm. And ham hock. It's somebody outside of that door. Okay, yeah, y'all remember when I was at the towers when people was trying to break in my house? I've decided over here I'm not going to do a welcome mat. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. I was craving this cabbage. This cabbage is bomb. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. That's good. I'm getting full, y'all. I got a piece of German chocolate cake that I got from my mama's. It's kind of soft, but it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all see that pack? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's that gristle over here. I asked y'all last week, do y'all look at Mary at first sight? I'm mad at Elijah Wan talking to Katrina like that. He said, what is a wife if she don't cook or clean? Mm, well, <laughs> these generations now, they don't do all that. My generation, we cook, we clean. We made love to our husbands. We tolerate them going outside the house loving somebody else. Took care of the children. Laundry, paying the bills. We did it all. And I don't know how to do it any different, y'all. So when he said that, I mean... I don't know if he want her to cook every single day. But a woman should know how to clean the house though. though. I, I, I mean, I just think his delivery was wrong. What he said was not wrong. But how he delivered to her was just so awful. I'm like, you kind of like mean. No, that's borderline... Uh, Verbal abuse, the way he let that out. Our claim was, I don't want to live in no dirty house. Damn, my God. Mm. 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 I don't want to live in a dirty house. And I'm old school that if I am married, I'm not, I'm not going to do it for the boyfriend. It's a difference, y'all. Y'all heard me say that a thousand times. I'm not going to do wife work for a boyfriend. I ain't doing it. But for my husband, I believe he has to have a hot meal. At least three times a week. Even if it's leftovers. Warm it up. Fix his plate. I hear a lot of people, even people in my generation, say to their husbands, if you're hungry, fix you something to eat. Mm -mm. I can't do it. I don't care who do it. Y'all run y'all household like you run your household. But for me and in this one, if my man good to me, I'm going to be really good to him. He don't have to do nothing. Well, I'm talking about, you know, worry about hot food and, and clean clothes. And a clean house. But that's how I raised myself, you know. Some of the skills came from mothers because she beat us to clean. We did learn how to clean in her house. Mm. That, skin, that, that chicken skin tastes good. But there are some women today that tell a man, make your own food. Actually, uh, all my life I fix my man food first. And I still do it. I will still do it today. Mm hmm Yep. I wouldn't change a thing.
especially if my man have his stuff in order. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I believe when a man is good to you, you will be good to him as well. That's what it's supposed to be. Anyway. But I'm seeing things different. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're gonna do that grocery lead up for y'all. We got 10 seconds, so we, we're about to get ready to sing, but tell me how you feel about it. Uh, what you do in your house, you know, and it's not feminine this or anything like that, y'all. It's not like a long a long time ago you say be barefooted and pregnant. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about um, as a wife, what you do in your house. How do you handle your house? Do you cook and clean still today for your husband? Now, for me, my husband was also a chef. So he, he did cook, and I appreciated that, but I cooked the majority. Mm-hmm, I sure did. So, mm, that's a good meal, y'all, and I still got that chicken. I just should have fixed a plate of uh, beans with some ham hocks and carrots, y'all, with them sausages. That's me, too. So I had meat three different ways. <laughs> mm. 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 But I love to cater though. I am a servant. I really am. Y'all ready to sing? Because I don't want this to be too long. But thank you for eating with me again. Yeah, thank you. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this beautiful day, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love. Peace out, sisters. I love you.